As we saw in Module 1, margin is essentially borrowed money. It gives the CFD trader the opportunity to trade on leverage. For example, a CFD trade representing an equivalent cash investment value of $10,000 in a stock would require a margin or collateral deposit of only $1,000 in the trader's account, assuming the CFD provider has a set margin of 10%. So for a cash outlay of $1,000, you can establish a position worth $10,000. However, you should be aware that the amount of margin required by a CFD provider for a specific trade depends on a number of factors. The volatility of the cash price. Generally, how far does the underlying asset price move on a day-to-day -day basis? The greater the volatility, the higher the margin requirement is likely to be set. Stocks of companies that have high market capitalizations and share trading liquidity will attract a lower margin, typically 10 to 20 percent. Medium risk stocks attract margins of roughly 20 to 40 percent. High risk stocks can require a margin of plus 40 percent. It's important to check with your provider what the relevant margin levels are before you begin trading. Let's look at an example of how margin creates leverage. Let's start by reviewing a traditional stock purchase. Here we show both the cash equity and CFD prices for Apple. Note that they are exactly the same. Let's say you would like to make a cash investment. It's trading at $115.97 per share. Your view is that the price of the stock is going to rise, therefore you would like to buy and go long on the shares. You would like to purchase 100 shares. The traditional stock cash purchase will cost you $11,597 plus any associated costs. For the purpose of this illustration, we will ignore trading costs in our calculations. After you have bought the stock, the price rises to $127.50. At this point, you decide to sell the stock at this higher price of $127.50 and therefore receive $12,750, creating a profit on the trade of $1,153. This profit of $1,153, based on an initial outlay of $11,597, results in a percentage return of 10% on money invested. Now, let's do the same trade again, but with a CFD. If the same trade is transacted with a CFD, the return calculations change significantly. Assume that your CFD provider quotes a margin of 10% on Apple stock. To buy 100 shares costing $11,597 will require just $1,160 in your margin account. When the share price rises to $127.50, you close the CFD position and just like the stock trade, your profit is $1,153. However, there is a key difference. You have only invested the margin total of $1,160. The cash investment created a profit of 10% on capital invested, but the CFD investment has provided a profit of 100% on capital invested. You have leveraged your profit 10 times. Beware though, the use of leverage can be risky. Let's take a look at the same trade, but imagine the price went down. This example illustrates clearly that trading CFDs has distinct advantages. However, it is very important to fully understand the mechanics of CFD trading in order to manage risk. Let us consider the Apple Cash and CFD trades shown in the previous illustration, but this time assume that the share price has fallen by 10% rather than risen by 10%. The equity cash position will fall in value by $1,153. This would result in the cash value of the shares being $10,444. This is a reduction or loss of 10% from the original investment. The CFD position would also lose $1,153, but this would virtually wipe out the initial margin. The CFD trader would be looking at a 100% loss of capital invested. 
It's very important to understand that CFD trading magnifies both profits and losses. Whilst potential profits can be increased due to the fact that the full stock price of the CFD position has not been funded by the trader, losses can also be higher. So this is what is referred to as leverage or gearing. In our Apple example, the leverage was 10 because of a margin of 10% had to be paid. It is essential that, as an investor, you understand the advantages and disadvantages of any financial instrument before you start trading. This is especially important when trading leverage products such as CFDs. To really underline our understanding of leverage, let's look at a CFD trade on an index this time. As well as taking a long position on a stock or an asset, the CFD trader has the ability to initiate a new trade by selling an asset and going short. In this example, you believe that the US 500 index is about to fall and you sell a CFD on the index in the hope that you will be able to buy it back later at a lower price and therefore make a profit. When you close an open trade in this way, it's also known as squaring a position. You decide to take a short position selling 100 shares in the US 500 at 2,119.17. This creates a nominal position of $211,917. That is 100 times 2,119.17. It's the value of the trade and defines your exposure. Assume the margin is 5%. This means that you only need a balance of $10,596 on your margin account to establish the short position. However, this does reflect a significant leverage of 20 times. For every $1 movement in the price of the US 500 index, your position will show a profit or loss of $100, which is, of course, one US dollar per share. Let's look at two scenarios. One where the price of the index falls to 2,110.17 and one where the index rises to 2,132.17. A fall in the price of the index to 2,110.17 will create a profit of $900 for this short trade, if it is squared at this price. That's 2,119.17 minus 2,110.17 times by 100, which equals 900. On the other hand, a rise in the price of the index to 2,132.17 creates a loss of $1,300 when squared at this price. That is 2,132.17 minus 2,119.17 times by 100, which equals 1,300. Index prices can move up and down very quickly if unexpected economic news is announced, for example. The short position in our example could quite easily be subject to an immediate and bigger loss in excess of the $1,300 in our example. It's very important that you appreciate the risks in leveraged CFD trading. In our previous example, if the price had indeed risen to $2,132.17, the loss would have been over 12% of the original capital invested, reflecting a relative small move in the index. If the position in our example had not been squared, the CFD provider would have required the trader to make good the current mark-to-market -market loss by depositing a further $1,300 into their margin account to bring it back up to its minimum level. In times of increased price volatility, the CFD provider may also increase the margins required. This may mean that the trader has to pay more cash into their margin account to cover the increased percentage. There are other CFD trading costs, such as funding and commissions, which must also be taken into account when calculating net profits. We will examine these in later modules. So let's review what you've learned. Margins will vary from asset to asset depending on the volatility of the asset cash price. 
Volatility represents the day-to-day -day fluctuations in the asset's price. The more the asset price moves, the higher the volatility, leading to higher margins. Companies with high capitalizations typically have lower margin requirements than those companies with smaller capitalization value. Some high-risk stocks can attract margins as high as 50 to 100 percent. The greater the risk of large price movements, the higher the margin requirement will be. CFDs can be traded on a variety of assets and instruments from one account. This means that you can set up a diversified portfolio covering different markets and have access to much wider trading alternatives – stocks, indices, commodities, sectors and many more. A CFD is an attractive alternative to other financial vehicles. CFDs therefore allow you to explore multiple investment options. You can trade a CFD to benefit from a falling price or market. If you consider that the price of certain individual stocks is more likely to fall than go up, you could use CFDs to short those stocks. Alternatively, you could short an index and gain potential profits from a falling market. CFDs are products that allow you to be an active, engaged trader, whatever your strategies and whatever the market conditions may be.